What's going on, everybody? On Entertainment Gaming here again, once again, presenting the Roundtable Podcast, everybody. And today, I have a very, very special guest. Now, a lot of you guys thought that he was dead. A lot of you guys thought that he was missing. A lot of you guys thought, hey, where did this guy go? You know, he just no, he suddenly didn't. stopped coming around. And ladies and gentlemen, the Cod Brothers Gaming is here. Hello, I Bob. have returned. You have returned. It's about time. I, I haven't even heard from him in a long time, guys. guys. How have you been, man? I'm okay. I just I just made it out of slave camp, you know. Yeah. School and all. FEMA camps. Yeah. Take, taking I, your daily dose of GMO. Yeah, I survived it though. So. All right. So so we yeah. all want to know where the hell you've been this entire time. It's like I thought that you disappeared because Infamous was such a bad of a game that you decided to bash <laughs> your head against the wall and that was it. Well, maybe, maybe. I mean, as soon as like. I started noticing that my grades were kind of slipping up again. I decided to just completely go into like a blackout mode where no electronics. I didn't play no video games, no nothing. It was just sleep, eat, school, and gym nonstop for a month. Wait, wait. So have you been taking like your like your, your computer classes for like uh, graphic design and stuff yet or no? No, that starts next semester. Which is September? Yeah. So wait, what, what are you going to be doing for the rest of the summer then? Summer, I have to take all the fi- the final prerequisites, which is biology, and that's gonna be that, that's that's mainly the class I'm taking for the summer because it's gonna be like six. It's a six hour course per day for 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 each day for for a month. Oh, for what month? For July. Oh my god, damn! It's a good thing I'm get, that's what I'm doing during the summer, or else I would have had to do that during the uh, <laughs> the freaking September thing. So. Uh, so so no beach no no it games. depends i might i might like you know jump out of the class a little early cause... yeah and then the professor's gonna fucking scorpion you get over here you're gonna get fucking lunged right back in the class shackles and everything damn so so you're you've been gone this, thus far due to school only yeah damn man Hey guys. Oh no. And this guy too. Where have you been this entire time? You you've been MIA for like a month as well. I had to do homework. Um I have a whole bunch of finals and then I have college stuff. Oh my god. You guys have like college has like just captured you and like I I swear it's like if, if you guys were Pokemon, like fucking college just like chucked master balls at you guys and that was it. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, he made us his bitch. Damn. So how have you guys been? I mean, it's it's been such a long time, and the people have wondered, like, what happened to the legendary Paul? I said, well, you know, he, he kind of went crazy after playing Infamous. Because <laughs> that was the last thing anybody ever saw from you, and I, I was like, what, what happened? The game was fun, but the story was just the epitome of shit. Aha! I fucking told you from the get-go. Uh, I mean, you were praising this game, like... It was fucking the the holy grail of games. You were like, when this game comes out, it's gonna be the best. It and, was supposed to be. And then what happened? It it just it, it what it what it flopped. It flopped. That's right. It flopped. every game, fucking every game so far has been overhyped for the fucking consoles. Well, I will say this: Watch Dogs is fun, but it's not something I would, you know. I mean. Comparing it to GTA, a lot of people are doing that. You can't really do that. It's it's a different game. So I mean, it's just like a, it's a one-time playthrough for me. That's about it. I really got to play more than once. I'm just waiting for the PlayStation Now to finally drop. I mean, I got the beta. Thank you, Red, by the way, Mr. Red One, for that. But like, you need to get it. I mean, PlayStation has got me on that. That's I mean, having to go back and play all the originals. That's just oh man. I saw you were playing Spyro. Well, I, I'd rather stick with the PC on that one. I mean, it, it's kind of too... I mean, once it drops on, on the PS4, then maybe, but as of right now, I mean, we, we don't even know when it's going to drop either, but... Aren't you still losing eggs? Yes, I, I don't know why. I know why. Why? Because remember when you ran into Zoe? Uh... Y- as you're playing, oh... Ah, uh, the- <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tried going back, and I was like, well, how come I can't... Where are my eggs, man? It just keeps diminishing. And I was like, this shit is making me want to do it. Like, pull a Paul and just beat my head in the wall consistently. <laughs> Speaking of trying to beat my head in the wall... Okay, so, 
let's talk about this, shall we? All right, so you guys have got me into Attack on Titan, and Paul was talking about, like, Attack on Titan makes Dragon Ball Z look like, like fucking little cubs of, I don't know. Just, you made it seem like this was like the great, so I'm watching it, and then you're telling me to pay attention. I paid attention to every little detail, and mind you, I'm watching my version in Japanese, because somebody didn't inform me that it was in English from the get-go, but I, I digress. Wow. All right, so what you're telling me is there's a group of people, right, that know that beyond those walls lie the apocalypse. So what yes. they decide to do is just kick back and chill. And not worry about a damn thing, while at any moment these titans that lie on the other side of the wall can just bust in and kill everybody. And then on top of that, like these people have made a giant wall. I, it, it was like the fucking the pyramid of Giza out, out of like the entire town, out of like cement and stone and steel. Meanwhile, their houses are made out of sticks and mud. Well. They, it's the renaissance period, you dick. <laughs> and, and, and then on top of that, these titans, I, I, I was thinking, like, all right, they're going to be, like, these monstrous creatures, like these giant motherfuckers, some kraken-looking guys. No, they're just giant human beings with missing genitals, and they smile a lot. That's the symbolism. Anyway, the, the reason why nobody cares about protecting the walls is because nothing can break through them. None of the titans can break through it until the colossal tell. <laughs> Then he kicked that shit in. Dude, he fucking, like, just hadoukened the wall, and then they all came in, and, like, they weren't even running at the humans. They were just walking, and they couldn't get away? Wait till you see episode five. Oh, my Did God. Did you get up to episode five? <sighs> I, got, see... I got up to episode three, and that shit was just, like, I have, I have more respect for the girl than I do Aaron. Of course. She's the badass of the show, yeah, of course. And then the other blonde-headed kid is, like, another puss ball. Well, he's the tactician. He's not really supposed to fight. You have Aaron, the idiot. I'm going to take them all out. He gets bullied and harassed. and That kid is a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not I, I really. I, I can't. I, I don't know. All right, so explain to me what really, what, what I mean, what's so special about episode five? Like, I mean, you don't have to tell me, but just sum it up. Like, that's. What, what happens saying? in everything episode you, five in a sense? Everything you, you have that has a flaw in it right now. Everything that you said that has a flaw, like basically, oh, the Titans are walking. Oh, they're nothing to be scared. They're just people. Or, or um, how come the bitch, wall got pushed at this stuff? Time. Aaron's a bitch. All of this gets solved in episode five. Everything that you've been questioning and wondering about why the show is so vast happens in episode five, and it changes the show for the rest of the, the season. So how is that? How is that better than Dragon Ball Z? Did you not it's, see the teaser? To, but, to Battle of Gods, that that's just that forty second clip alone was better than all three of those episodes. That's because the first four episodes of Attack on Titan are all build up. They're trying to inform you on what's going on, and episode five is where it all goes into play. So when does all the action happen? Episode, episode five? five, episode five and onward. Oh, guys, you guys are a bunch of negative Nancys. Where, I, where, 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 where can I watch this We're in English? I'm getting tired of listening to. Watch Cartoon Online. It's in English. Thirteen episodes. <laughs> Jesus, man. Wait, how many seasons are there? There's, there's only one or one, but there's only 13 episodes in English right now. Oh. Oh. There's 25 episodes in season one. Yeah, like and, and then Paul's like, seven. Paul's like, man, the animation is way better than Dragon Ball. Nick, Dragon Ball Z was done in the 90s, my friend. No, I mean, no wonder this, it's better. But Dragon Ball Z was like at the top of the animation back in the day this is modern animation well, exactly that that's why it's better because it's modern animation i mean you look at battle of gods and you look at the old dragon ball z you can clearly see the difference on technology and attack on attack on titan was done when 2011 10 ish well last year well whatever that that's still even even better it's it's more modernized so the graphics is, are but, a lot better but the story overall the it story just like i was always trying to debate between if naruto is going to finally match dbz this just shot on it Both completely. Also, oh, this is better than Naruto, and you watched like how many episodes? Of exactly Naruto? in like thirteen episodes. Only in five episodes, this show became better than Naruto it, all the way. It's the It is literally my number one anime. Okay, because... so wait, so uh, you're, so you're saying Attack on Titan is better than Naruto? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. you're saying Attack on Titan is better than Dragon Ball Z? Mm -hmm. It it actually comes up there because um. It's so fast paced. There's no filler. It's not a single filler in the show. Oh, it's so fast paced. The first three episodes were so action packed. 
they're, oh, they're still sure. summoning stuff. So action packed. They were action packed. The only action that I've seen was when the dude ate Aaron's mom. And when the armored titan broke through the wall. Okay, yeah, when he ran, that was pretty badass. I was like, okay. But all he did was just bust through the wall and, and, and just stood there. That's just a preview of what's to come. I mean, I why didn't why he noticed the boat clearly? How come he didn't just lunge at the boat? That's that's the that's, thing. That's, you gotta that's keep the thing, You gotta Dumbass. watch. Dumbass. At the just watch the rest of episode four until the very end. At the end of episode four, something you will really be like, big I happens, and then episode five. five, it all just plays out. I, you if you come over to our house, we like DVR'd all five episodes that have been shown on Toonami thus far. You know, I was gonna go to your house so we can go see Gold Zero and everything else, but you know. You guys, I'm telling you, we should go today, but no, you guys. Oh, uh, yeah, well, Paul, let's go today, because I feel, I feel like we need to do something with our lives. You have to see fucking, I mean, Captain America and Godzilla will change your life. Because Captain America is just full of action, like, just left and right. And Godzilla is just like, oh, fuck, it's like the apocalypse. I don't know about X-Men, I heard X-Men was great. Spider-Man, I heard, wasn't that good but then apparently again, it was like the least like like favorite out of all yeah, of, out of all of them spider-man was the least because so, something happened like with connected. like the goblins and um it's it's like the green goblin wasn't as wasn't the person that you thought it was and the sinister sticks were just man and they didn't mention venom they didn't mention carnage but yo carnage though. x-men on the other hand i heard it, it was, was it's like, better than captain america that's how good it was what x-men yes i don't know i heard the same thing i heard that x-men was just packed with action but then again i heard towards the end well i don't know if you guys know who apocalypse is Do you know who apocalypse is yeah isn't he the guy that's like superman's like on the um, planet uh all right well apocalypse is the original mutant and he has every single power ever oh wait, i was confusing superman's like dark side dude no i was thinking i know you're talking oh, speaking about of superman fucking the new title was it uh justice that superman? yeah beginning of justice or something like yeah that? So something like beginning of justice or justice i don't know dawn of justice or something yeah, that, that sounds right. One more year, my friends. I think it's going to be shit. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How are you going to name the freaking movie after what the fans have been calling it the entire time? Because Batman versus wanna, Superman. They want to compete. Dawn of Justice. They, they want to compete, man. It's bullshit. They don't know what they're doing. They, fucking Zack Snyder. At least no, they no, fired no, no, the writer. You can't really blame him. The guy is just doing what he's told. They fired the writer, which I'm happy about, but that's about it. I mean, then again, it's like, there's so many movies coming out next year that it's going to be great. I mean, for me personally, I, I just, I really want to, after watching Captain America, I, I really want to see how the Avengers are going to, I mean, obviously they're going to top it, but I want to see how, because Captain America from beginning to end was just, oh, hey. I wonder what the budget for that movie is going to be. So much. Man, I'm telling you, you should go to the movies today. Like, now. Alright, guys, just gonna drop the podcast back. I, like, I'll, I'll jump in my car and I'll Skype to my phone. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sweat. What? I don't know. It felt like it was called for that. And on top of that, we have E3 around the corner. I mean, some of the biggest games. Halo 5, Uncharted 4, Mortal Kombat X, Kingdom Hearts 3... Battlefield 5, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Oh, my God. The only one I felt hyped about was Kingdom Hearts 3. Uncharted 4 just sounds like it's going to be a racing game. <laughs> what? That's what Naughty Dog does. By their fourth game, it's a racing game. Last of Us. They're going to... Oh, Red Dead Redemption 2. All that shit, man. El Elder Scrolls. Yeah, fucking amazing. Super Smash Brothers. Oh, oh, the game that I whooped you guys in and so many times I'm undefeated. That's because Big win. Alex tends to hide in the corners waiting for everyone else to kill no, each other. No, 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 no. The, the statistics show that you've never beaten me, any of you. I've beaten you all in the house, so I am the one that deserves the crown. <sighs> you guys better not, like, fucking disappear again. I mean, you are. Paul is when he gets back into fucking college, when he fucking sits down and they shackle him to the seat. Hey, I managed. I managed to get an A in one of my classes. You know how awesome that feels. No A plus. A minus. <laughs> no A plus. And I didn't. You know what's the best thing? I didn't do anything. So how'd you get an A? Oh, I, don't I know. see. I see what you did. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> 
<laughs> he went under the desk for a while. Oh my god. He went under there. He was like, well, if, if it means getting my A. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. I mean, like, I, I kind of got worried. I was like, did this kid decide to, like, just fall off the planet? And then, like, I just felt like you had to take Sean with you. It's like, yeah, if I fall... Sean, you have no <laughs> excuse. You mean he, you think he would take me with him? Yeah, it's like, this kid's like, if I fall, I'm taking the, the one closest to me with me. Yeah. Hey, you! No! So he's just gonna hug me one day? Hey, Sean, just, just come here. Just, just, just come, come, yeah. Just come, just come. I fall ah! my brain. It's fucking down in the pit of abyss you go. I I was gonna man we 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 shit man we have to do a 2012 again. Yo, 2012 oh, part two. But but then again you have classes so how how's that gonna work? I don't know man. I don't give a fuck. I'll chill with your brothers. Don't leave us alone with him, please. Why? You know why. Oh yes. So... The massive the massive amount of. Molestation that will happen is just unbearable. You see, he admitted to it. <laughs> now the police will not come in time because I'll get up and I'll. Just... You know what my friend showed me? He put he had to make us like his own um what's it called a uh, resume. He put down as one of his like uh main like uh strengths uh against. Oh, by, the, by, by the way, I, I'm sorry for interrupting. I, I just have to say one thing. Shout outs to Edgar. Uh, now I want to ask you guys a question, and Edgar, I hope you're watching this. He thinks that. Dragon Ball Kai is better than Dragon Ball Z. What do you guys think about that? Or have you been shat on by monkeys when you were a baby? My brother. What yeah. you smoking? <laughs> what you smoking? Wait, 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 wait. In all fairness, in all fairness, Edgar claims, because he is a very resourceful person, I love him to death, but he, he claims that Dragon Ball Kai is better than Dragon Ball Z because there's no filler and the animation is top notch and it's, you know, original Japanese music and whatnot, so it actually makes sense. Um, I disagree one because I feel that... like the actors are just half-assing what they did. I mean, supposedly with the, all the rumors of Battle of Gods, supposedly this dub is not going to be half-assed because if, if you're hearing Goku do that fucking that, yeah, that roar sounded pretty. There's good, like... no way they're going to half-ass that. It's, it's a movie. I thought he, I knew he's not going to go like half-ass. That, that's number one. But if you go watch Kai. Like Dragon Ball Z, he was like, "I'm gonna fuck you," and then, and then, and then like Dragon Ball Kai, he was like, oh, "I'm gonna be." How can you not love? Music? Yeah, he went from, music. "I'm gonna fuck you up," to, "I'm gonna fuck yeah, you I'm, up." Yeah, I'm gonna fight you. Oh, uh, yeah. Today we're gonna. T today I I want to see I want to see the uh, the Boo saga because I want to see if he's gonna half-ass that too. Yeah, and and like one of the main reasons I didn't like Kai either is because of Gohan's voice. Gohan's and, voice is a woman's voice. In the other one, he was a dude. That's well, the I mean, doesn't. Well, doesn't that kind of make sense? Because little Goku had the same voice. Little Gohan said, "I mean, it kind it, it kind of differs." It's like I like little Goku's little voice. voice. It sounded. I, perfect. I've always I've always wanted yeah, somebody to play different. a different voice for Gohan. Because don't you think it makes more sense? Like, why would you want to have? All right, imagine somehow universes and 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 shit was just parallel, and little Goku met little Gohan. It, it, it'd be like the same voices. It's but like then that makes sense That's because perfect. little Goku is the, is his is his son. So it makes sense that the genes went over. Oh my I mean, god, Sean, if you have a kid, he's not going to have your same and, voice. And the original, right? I mean, didn't Akira Toriyama want Gohan to be the hero? So, I mean, he's going to pick up after his father, isn't well, he? I can't speak for him because that man right now is just in another... He's on some good shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, but yeah, but that, that, that's that's what Edgar said. I mean, it's, it, it's just... It's just Because after making my video, he was like, Dragon Ball Kai is, is better than Dragon Ball Z because of no filler and original music and just overall anime. I can understand the animation part because it was done right, but... No, the animation part's only good in um, the, the opening cutscene. It's yeah, still the, the same old the one. I was like, what the hell is he talking no, about? No, I mean, the but the way the way they like... redesigned it, it, I think it was pretty cool. I mean... Like, the drawings themselves look cleaner, but the, the colors look flushed out. It and, looks really old. And then the, uh, the sounds, I, I fucking hate... The Japanese music, the Bruce Falcone music is by Bruce far Falcone. Best. untouchable. And then... I mean... No, you're right, but go on. Then the voice acting was at its, like, its prime because they were actually working for their job. Now they have, like, the um, the best job security in the world, so they don't have to worry about getting fired. You can't fire Goku at this point in time. But I, I just wanted to say that, do, do you see how much of a difference the the Dragon Ball Z community made in the last year and a half? Yo, we get... We, 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 I mean, it's not just me, you, and everybody. It's just like, I understand that we blew it up, but it was mainly the people. So for those of you out there watching this, 
you guys really made this happen because I guarantee you, if Dragon Ball Z didn't get as much exposure as it did, this movie would have never have had an international movie release. This is the first time Dragon Ball Z is actually going to compete to have a, a theatrical release because Yu-Gi-Oh had one, Digimon had one, Pokemon had one, and now finally Dragon Ball Z is going to have one. Naruto never had one. You know, uh, fucking uh, Gundam never had one. These movies Please. never were released internationally, so... That just if that doesn't Yo, speak volumes, I don't know what does. How big was Yu-Gi-Oh at the time to get that movie released? It got three movies in the theater. No, no though, it like, didn't three movies in the, in the theater. Yeah, three movies. No, no, no. no in, in theaters, it had, it had one. One. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah it had so, one. It was but the. Uh, that was a big one for it to get. Like it had like how many months in the? Theater? Everybody was. I, I mean, shit. I was. I had so many Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I swear to God, I had thousands. Oh. Upon thousands of Yu-Gi-Oh Jeez. cards. I'm pretty sure we had thousands, but my mom kept throwing them out. <laughs> my mom kept fucking raging. She was like, "You waste money on fire!" Because I remember I bought um, I bought, I bought uh, Jinzo. I remember buying Chaos Emperor Dragon. I bought Yada. This, this was his high school graduation money. <laughs> <laughs> I, I bought Yada, Chaos Emperor Jinzo, and uh, what was it? Yada, and some other cards for like a hundred and eighty dollars. And my mom was like, "What the?" And I was like, I was like, but you don't understand, bitch. You don't fucking, you, you, you don't have the heart of the cards. And <laughs> the heart of the cards. <laughs> you know, I swear to God. And now looking back on it now, somewhere in my house, they have to be around here. But if I were just to glance at that card and be like, damn, I wasted forty dollars on this motherfucking card that does nothing for me, I'd probably just beat myself with the fucking keyboard. <laughs> wow. I used to buy tins. I used to. The only thing I was missing was a fucking dual disc. And the Millennium Puzzle. <laughs> I, I would have been walking. Do you know how many hood motherfuckers I saw? Like, yo, it was popping. Nigga, you want to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Like, all right. <laughs> we used to have tournaments on the block. People used to steal cards. Like, oh, yeah, that ghetto shit, stealing cards. Oh, my uh, God. Yo, uh, man, let me it, see your card real quick. All right, yo, peace. Wait, where's my card? Fuck you. Nigga. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> I remember me and Paul and Alex there, we used to do, like, a four-way duel. That shit was... We usually ganged up on one person by, like, the halfway through. I'm holding in my hand right now Red Eyes, Zombie Dragon, and Obelix the Tormentor limited edition holographs. You had oh, yeah, that within the Alex arms lives next to a guy. Don't, don't explain how I have these in my hand. I mean, when I come by later, I'll show you, but... Just looking at these two cards right now, I swear to God, if Yu-Gi-Oh! was real, I, I'd still fucking be the number one fan. Oh, that basically... Obelisk the Tormentor is a titan, so... That's you know what, what we should do for the fans? You know what we should do for the fans one day? I think I think for Paul's 100,000 special, we should do a Yu-Gi-Oh match. Wow. The three of us or just you two? I'll be refereeing. I mean, yeah, if you want to do that, we, we go buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards, and we'll have a good old classic duel. I'm down for it. Sure, why not? Fourth quarter, we have the Jew in the other corner. I'm not a Jew, you <laughs> Fight! Yeah, I'll it's do I'll, the exact same thing. I'll, I'll do to Paul the exact same thing what happened in Mortal Kombat X with Scorpion and Sub Zero. I'll put your head. Oh down. hell no! <laughs> I'll beat your ass and I'll he fuck. brought Mortal Kombat into this. Damn right I did. I mean E3 this year. Oh my god! I, I I don't give a fuck. This year we're gonna do the exact same thing we did in 2012 because I have a, a very lenient schedule. I'm I'm not. I mean I feel like. What happened last year with me is going on what happened with you today. I mean, because last year I was like a slave to my job. And this year you're a slave to school. Yo, last year I was free for three months. Yo, last year I was free never. I went to the beach for a half an hour one time last year. I remember. Well, well, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the day you did come with us for only half an Yo, hour. Yo, I came with you guys and we stood there for like 30 minutes. That was the only time I went to the beach in 2013. In 2012, I'm a white dude. I was black in 2012. And Paul that, was a raccoon. What is that? Oh, about? yeah. Paul had the raccoon eyes. Oh, oh please. Like, so funny. That's how many times we went to the beach. Like, fucking skid pigtations changed, and Paul turned into an animal. <laughs> Yo, and I the worst part is, white. <laughs> the worst part is, like, that same summer, I had to start college, and they took a picture of me for the photo ID, and yo. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, I look like a charred piece of freaking burnt oak wood. Yo, I, th that's exactly for those of you out there who don't remember and or or relatively new. I, I think 2012 was like by far. I mean, 
I, I I'm sure somewhere, you know that that store owner is probably looking for me. He's like, oh, where where is the number one customer? <laughs> He's not come no more. Oh yeah. I bought like, so ever. much junk food from that guy. And, I mean, we we didn't even get fat either. I mean, the well, yeah, I mean because we burned it all off in the beach by throwing each other around. So. Which kind of made um, sense. Oh, yeah, by the way, we tackled... Big Alex is, like, two times my height, and I still took him down. Yeah, because yeah, you guys are all, like, wrapped on my feet. I had Paul's balls on my fucking back. I'm like, what's going on? Basically, you guys all charge me? I was like... The I mean, entire but, summer but, was like this every day. But, but that was... <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> Turn down for what? Yo, 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 we're going to do a quick line. Of, like, going to the beach, and that song is gonna be, the moment that beat drops is going to be the part where we all attack each other. <laughs> Turn down for what? <laughs> Everybody's just going to be fucking colliding in the water. But, I mean, th- those were the glory days. That, that was when it was, that, that was when it was, uh, freedom at its fullest. The, the four browns, the one white, and the one mama. <sighs> Damn, that was, that was the good days. How, can you believe it's already been two years? Stop we're reminding old. me. We're Fuck getting it. old. We're getting old, man. Hey. Yeah. I mean, I mean, wait, because I, I remember your mom kept talking about how, like, your dad was so adventurous about going places. Like, last year, like, did you guys go, like, at all those places that you wanted to go to? Absolutely or, not. What? No. We didn't go anywhere last summer. Last summer was whack. Yo, was- I remember your mom was like, when Paul and Dad get here, I swear to God, we that man is going to take you guys out more than like you ever met. And I'm just thinking to myself, like, this dude reminds me of like the the, uh, the episode of South Park when Chef joined the fucking the Adventure Club. You remember, you remember that fat white guy that always wanted to go places? I was like, is Paul Dad's like, is, is this dude going to like take us everywhere legitimately? Like, you're in the hospital bed lying there because you had too much fun. The dude's going to come in there. We're, we're, we're going again. Why? 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 <laughs> take no break. Like, I, I was thinking like this man is going to have flash passes for like six flags. He's going to have fucking shotguns ready in like a third world country to shoot gators and shit. I'm like, yo, this is going to be awesome. Turns out I was a slave and you guys never went anywhere. But this year is different. We have vehicles. That's true. Well, I don't really call them vehicles. I call them Autobots. I call them Transformers. <laughs> and really? you're driving a Camaro. I, don't I, I, I named my car Bella. Kind of. I call my car Zeus. I don't know. I, <laughs> Why are you riding Zeus then? <laughs> Yeah, but you're driving Bella. It's like yeah, you, roll up, <laughs> you you roll up in a pack of girls. What you what you, what do you call your car, Bella? <laughs> was that the bitch you first banged, or is that the girl who broke your heart? I don't know. It's, it's the girl that fucking noticed that Paul went AFK, so she goes for Sean instead. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> <Get him. laughs> I was that gonna say? Uh, what's your car's name? <laughs> This this boy right here, Zeus. Can, can I tell so you like getting pounded by Zeus on those bolts? Uh, uh, I'm be like, do you want to see my thunderbolts? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking of thunderbolts, uh, what I, are are you guys gonna be playing Elder Scrolls Online? We heard it sucked. No, so, it kinda what? Sucked. All we heard was that basically you're doing the same shit over and over, and they completely kill like it's nothing like Skyrim. So wait, but you were the every- one that hyped it up like it was the second coming. Basically, what we played in the beginning was basically the best part of the game. That was it. No way. So they said everything in between is just it's just boring filler. So you're not gonna be playing it? I guess not. I was literally about to get it and play with you guys, man. It's not even out for PS4 yet, so... Eh. Wait, what games do you have for the PS4 aside from Battlefield and Infamous? And Assassin's Creed, which I don't understand why you have in the first place, but go on. Just Battlefield, Infamous, Watch Dogs, Tomb Raider. Oh, you have Watch Dogs? Yeah, I played it. I beat it. What do you think? It's a good game. Just gotta. Pl- it's only worth one playthrough, though. It's not worth more than one. He's going to go back to Corey. Corey, I need you to do me a favor. Take the game did, back. Didn't you say that Corey got sent to the Shadow Realm? You pretty much did. I haven't seen him or heard from him. Do you know how many people keep keep getting fired? It's like it's it's a very simple job, right? If you get hired at GameStop, they just tell you 
organize the games, and that's it if you're a GA, right? If you're working cash register, just do the transactions correctly, and that's it. When the store closes, clean up and go fucking home. But these people are just like, oh, yeah, let's just take games out the cases and let's put it in our pocket. Oh, look, an extra dollar laying around. I'm going to take that dollar for myself. Ends up being fucking oh, short registered or games are missing. It's like, what the fuck is wrong do, with you do people? Do they go hard over, like, like if they're missing $1 off of their profits? Well, they don't really they, – they mark it down, but, like, we're talking about, like, this dude – there's this one dude named George who, like, fucking stole, like, thousands of dollars. You just put George on blast. Sorry, George. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, he was, was a cool dude, but, like, they told me, like, he stole thousands of dollars. I was like, how is that possible? Yo! Uh, fucking this dude, Young Moneyed that shit, man. Like, oh, speaking of Young Money, did you did you guys hear Lil Wayne's, uh, some of the songs from the Carter Five? Wait, it came out already? Well, no, some of the some, some of the songs did, uh, Believe Me and Tina Turner. Really good songs, I must I admit. I Especially just, Believe I heard, Me. I just heard Believe Me, but that was, like, how long ago did it come out? A couple weeks? Like, like, not even a month ago. Yeah, yeah, a month ago. I, ha- I don't even remember. I listened to it once. This kid's in school. He's like, believe me. <laughs> Professor, you, Pa, well, what is the answer? Believe me. <laughs> believe me. <laughs> All right, so what time are we planning on going to the movies? I mean, when, when the two, when the when the twins come or? I think Aaron just got hurt. Because, I mean, can't you just call your mom and tell her we're going to the movies? Nigga, I want to take a nap. <laughs> no naps! You've napped enough, man. I'm going to end up sleeping in the theater. Oh, well, no, not, not after watching these right films. Now. Well, really? Because as I need to go to the gym today, so I don't know. I mean, choose. Entertainment or taking a nap? I was going to go to the nap and then gym. How about you work out while you're watching the movie? How do you do that, you fap? No, you <laughs> fucking just glue your eyes to the damn <laughs> screen and you just like... Then you fap? And you, and you fap. <laughs> I'd fap if I had to go again, and I will fap when I go watch the movies again. Oh, you could hear his <laughs> unzip. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Dude, what are you doing? They call this Gojira. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to lie. I, I went on the uh, the midnight premiere of Godzilla, and there was this dude who brought a live action figure. And when Godzilla first popped out on screen and he roared, I'm not gonna lie, it was an epic roar. Everybody was cheering and clapping. I got goosebumps. This one kid sat up with his fucking toy in the air. Yes! Godzilla! And I'm like, dude, it's not that serious. He's fighting the other creatures. It's kinda... There are some weird people that go to those movies. No, I didn't. mean like I mean, cause it, it was it was the midnight premiere. I mean, it was packed. It was like Avengers packed. And I I, I didn't even think it was gonna be that but I was like, whoa. Was there and a lot of bitches watching the movie or not? Nah? There were a few. Couple. Yeah. I mean, if if you go, if you saw my video when we all went, I showed I showcased the line. It was a big ass fucking line. But I was like, there was people wearing uh, Godzilla shirts and costumes. There's one dude who had like a, uh, not only did he have the action figure, but he had like a giant like Godzilla poster. He was like hoisting it up, and like the ending was epic. I'm not gonna lie because like this dude performed a fatality, and I was like, ooh. And then every- you make it sound like it's like someone showed up in a rubber Godzilla suit as well. <laughs> I, I was waiting for that. I was like, and then Captain America. I I honestly went into Captain America not thinking much. I was like, oh god, it's probably gonna be like the first film. That shit. I walked out like, damn, that made the Avengers look B- silly. better than Thor. I walked out with yeah, those yeah, it was. Guys. It was. Wow. It was because of the story and the amount of action, especially like you're gonna get mind fucked. Like, all right, you know what? If we're gonna go today, you want to see Captain America or you want to see Godzilla? Captain America. Ah. Uh-huh. Oh, shit. You want to Which one's worth it? Uh, they're both <laughs> worth it. They're re- they're really both worth it. Great stories for both. Oh, great action for both. Let me see if Captain America already came out on this thing, huh? Oh, he's going to check. Watch out. <laughs> he's going to check. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all aboard. You can't do that on a podcast. <laughs> all aboard the ship before it takes off. <laughs> Arg me, Hardy. Arg it. <laughs> oh shit! I'm gonna check to not. <laughs> hey man, I mean, fucking, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that, you know. It's just, um, I can't wait for fucking E3 already. I'm I'm hearing so much about it. Apple announces new Mac and all that shit. Oh my god. But that just means we gotta wait. Well, I mean, they're going to showcase it to you. I mean, at least you'll get some clarity. It's like, hey, you want Kingdom Hearts 3? Here's a trailer. Here are the characters. Here's what you want. Hey, you want the new Super Smash Brothers? Here are the characters. Here's the trailer. Imagine hey, in Kingdom Hearts 3, the Avengers are there. 
How would that make any sense? The Avengers Disney would slaughter owns, every character. Disney owns Marvel now, so... Yeah. Well, yeah, it, make, it makes sense. They also own Star Wars and Pixar. They have an, an unlimited arsenal for that game. I, I don't know who's going to rule the world first, McDonald's or Disney. Hmm. <clears throat> Because you got McDonald's like, fattening up the world. Disney's making them like McDonald's is everywhere, and Disney owns everything. So it's like, and, and don't forget Google. Google's trying to run the internet. <laughs> Google fucking bought out Beats, and they bought they, out Twitch. Like, they bought Twitch. Wait, that's a confirmation. Well, w- wasn't that wasn't that a confirmation? Oh no! Come on, not Twitch, please. Wait, For so two billion, wait, so, they bought it out. I think. I think so, it was either in the works or it's what. So 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 wait. So YouTube is gonna buy out Twitch. That's what, that's the deal for two billion or something like that. Why? So basically, there goes like their number one, uh, streaming competition. Gone. Wow, they bought their competition out. Yo, Google is gonna run this shit. They own the best video sharing stuff on the internet. Wait, wait. So is YouTube gonna overtake Twitch, or is it just gonna be vice versa? It's just gonna be like an alternative. I think they're gonna they're gonna take over two billion dollars. Well, I mean, I, I know Facebook bought out Oculus Rift, and Google bought out Beats and supposedly Twitch. So, yo, do you think that the uh, the VR stuff is gonna catch on? Mm, I actually want to try. Yeah. Why would know. Facebook buy out a gaming, you know, software device? Thing that's supposed to drop for game I, that that I didn't understand. It's like why would Facebook buy out Oculus Rift? Because they have the money. Yeah, but why would they want it? <laughs> oh God, turn down. F- I mean, yeah, no, that that's the point. It's like, oh, do you want to send the message to your friend? How about putting on this headset and sending in it virtually? It's like, no, man. Honestly, I'm not too big on on virtual reality yet because. Until I'm able to like, until I'm able to like enclose myself in an environment where I can just do anything I want physically, and it will just capture it digitally and have it to where whatever I do in real life happens in the game. Like then, that, I mean, because if I want to fap in real life and I fap in the game, then I'll be a believer. Yo, and then we're gonna play online. Next, thing you know, yo, Alex, I need you to plot the C4. Alex, <laughs> yeah, I'll be right there, man. Give me a second. <laughs> And we're like, Alex, we only got five more seconds. It only take four. <laughs> I'll, I'll be the only soldier on ground who's naked. I mean, who who would want to kill a naked man? Wait, I remember this. This was this was Dragon Ball Online. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, do you remember how many people we used to have on the server? Yo, we had an army. Yo, I remember this kid jumped from a like a mountain. He was like, wait. I was like, who are you? I want to join you guys, okay? But did he <laughs> jump from a mountain to join us? Yo, people used to come from different villages. Every time we, we came, uh, everywhere we went, there was like a gang. Oh man, I'm I'm so happy we recorded that because we had an army of naked people running around killing monkeys. Yeah, good times, <laughs> good times, good times. Oh no, remember how many times we used to just tell them to fight, and everybody would just brawl. Yo. Well, supposedly, there's a new server coming up, Dragon Ball Revelations. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I don't think it's going to be as good as online. It, it, it's pretty much the exact same thing with upgrades. But, like, if it's made by people, how are they going to afford servers that don't lag and shit like that? I well, I mean, I don't know. It's just, like, I, I'm sad that the servers shut down because that game was pretty... It was fun, but... If it's coming back, then, I mean, just have some sort of hope or glimmer. I don't know. I mean, this year has been such a big year for Dragon Ball Z. Have you noticed that? Battle of Z coming out in the beginning, right? Battle of Gods coming out towards the middle of the year. Dragon Ball Z on the PS4 coming out. Like, what the fuck? Gene revealed. The androids, real names revealed. All that shit. The new manga, Minus, all that shit. It's like, whoa. Dragon Ball Z Kai. We made it happen! Yo, Dragon Ball Z just came back from, like, the dead... It did. Yes. In 2012, 13, well, mostly 12, it was like, uh, well, he, here's a game for the consoles and that's it. And then once word to mouth got around, everybody's like, I'm telling you, man, we can make this happen and we will make it happen. I mean, th- this is the goal, right? 
Get as many people to watch Battle of Gods as possible. Get as many people to buy the product on the PS4 as possible, or Xbox, or whatever this, they decide to get it on. Because remember, like I said, if you're a company and and you're starting to make a lot of money, would you not want to take your time out to do more? That that's yeah. why that that's what baffles me about Akira Toriyama. The dude is like forgetting. I mean, I understand he's old, but like if you're not gonna want to continue, and some people argue with me on this on my videos. They were like, "Well, remember the last time Akira Toriyama trusted somebody." We get we got GT. Oh yeah, that was. Uh, what so so it's like we've come he down to a very sticky situation. He must give the, us the rights. I mean, but th we've come down to a very sticky situation. It's like if he gives it to somebody else, we might get something similar to what happened with Dragon Ball GT. If we if he decides to keep the franchise, then a lot of shit is not going to make any sense because he forgot. I wish they took the story from Dragon Ball Online and animated it. Really? Yeah, that was a pretty good story. It was a canon. Is a canon story. But you already have a canon story with with the future of Beerus. Yeah, but th with this one, it's way further into the future. Did you and, know? Like, and, these... and you have Salona, the God of War, the Falcon dude. Oh my God, so much fucking in depth shit. And then it, it's it's just oh my God. I I I, I, re I read an online manga where. The God of War challenged the God of Destruction, and he was like, uh, "Cause like every every God has like a master, and this dude's master was like, if you want entertainment, you can go fight the God of Destruction." He was like, "Who the cat?" He was like, "Yeah, the cat." He was like, "But isn't isn't it, isn't that stupid cat sleeping?" He was like, "You can go wake him up." Dude woke him up by punching Bills right in the fucking face. Bills was like, "What? What? What?" The? And then they fought. Oh my! It's just so much shit. I mean. Just Dragon Ball, New Age, Dragon Ball. Oh my God, so much shit going on. But then, I, I don't know. Like Akira Toriyama, I guess he doesn't trust nobody after what happened with GT because a lot of people were just like complaining. Oh well. You mean all oh, well? Oh, oh, because now you're watching Attack on Titan. You don't give a fuck no more. Attack yes. on Titan took everything to a new level. What? What level? The next level. The next Dude. level of stupidity, because that's all watch, the watch. You have you in one hour you could watch the two episodes you haven't seen, four and five, and, and then in you. One hour see. we could have went to the movies. My name is Aries. And I swear to God, that shit. I mean, it's a good show, but it's not. It's definitely not better than Dragon Ball Z. You haven't I mean, seen anything yet. Three episodes. The story thus far seems like all right. It's it's revolving this kid. He wants revenge. He saw his mom get killed. Yeah, I understand that. It's like it's pretty cool. But then wow. it's like, why are the people so stupid? Oh, please just smack this child. Yes, <laughs> please <laughs> come smack me. Yes. Yeah, no, you are who's gonna get over? I'm trying to tell you. Watch the next couple episodes before I kill you. Smack me! I dare you. Come on, punch me in the face. Ah! How, how, how dare you? Oh. How dare you? <laughs> He's got keys. Who's loading up their gun? Oh. <laughs> Did you hear that? It sounds, it sounds like he's just cocking a Glock. He's probably going to put it up on his cranium. I don't want to go to school no more. <laughs> what kind of sound effect was that? <laughs> Hey, I don't, I don't question you about your fucking, your, your murpy shit that you do on a daily basis. So you don't question me on my sound, on my sound effects. I don't know what a murp is. By the way, I cleaned my car yesterday. Such a beautiful feeling. Wow, you and Paul did the same thing. <laughs> you did? You, you washed your car yesterday? Well, not yesterday, but like a couple of days ago. I fucking went to the car wash. My What's the car... point though? It's going to rain tomorrow. It is? Yo, so, on the bus, on the way for home, there's a guy, his car is all soapied up. But he didn't wash it. What? Yeah, it's all soaped up. Like, you can see, like, someone took a sponge and was soaping it up. But I'm he didn't wash it up. Because it's going to rain for, like, the next three days. So I was like, like okay. Hey, he's hey. Like, Let me just put some soap on my car to make it seem like I'm washing it. But I'm not. <laughs> if it does rain, then I guess it works out for him. But right now, it just looks stupid. Wow. I'm just... And on top of that, they're going to talk more about The Walking Dead Season 5. Oh, yeah. I'm... Did you see any of the screenshots? I don't want to. I saw... Well, they're like, oh, look, it's, it's Rick on the set. You know, I think they hit a gun in Carl's hat. <laughs> what? That's what, well, that's what we were saying. Like, that's what I thought, too. Like, well, I'm, st they... I'm, still wait I'm still waiting for season four to drop on Netflix so I can just rape the shit out of it. But you didn't, you didn't finish it? No, I actually didn't even start it. What the fuck? I, I know, I'm waiting for it to come out on Netflix. It is? Oh, no. Dude, by the time it comes out on Netflix, the next season will be started. I know, don't remind me. Just stop patronizing me. 
thing is behind in everything. I, I think it is on Netflix, though. I th- Johnny, that's uh, I, I, Trust me, I check every day. It, it was... No, it's not there. If it was, I would have been done with it in a, day, in, a, in a freaking day. NBA 2K15? Really? Oh, I, I'm going to stick with 14 for a good while. I mean, Actually, what's the difference? No, trade it in right now because NBA 2K4... Oh, wait, wait, never mind. I mean, because, like, what's really the difference between the two? You know what I mean? It's just like... Uh-huh. I, Cause, hey, Alex, and, if I wanted to buy the Funimation version, collector version of um, Attack on Titan with the Blu-ray disc combo and a cool key necklace chain thing, and it costs 100 bucks, would you support me or tell me no? I would tell you to go fuck yourself with a... What is with you people? <laughs> Why would you want to waste that much money... For a damn collector's edition that just features a key. What is with you people? <laughs> it's the... just a key. What? what? But it's so cool. Did, Dude, did, did, did you even pay attention like to the parts where his father showed him the key in the, the show? Or did you? Wait, wait. Did you miss that? During, during what episode? First episode. Was it the dude by the gate? No, oh, his dad. His dad. Oh, okay. no, that, that's another thing that bothered me. The dude ran away and never came back. <laughs> <laughs> that was like the symbolism of fatherhood in America. He just, see ya. <laughs> hey, here's the key. See ya. Hey, you take care of your mom, okay? See ya. That's so true. The though. guy single-handedly I'm, I'm going to go to the store. I'm, I'm going to get you something good, okay? See ya. That's... How do you make that sound? He <laughs> just fucking bailed. I was like, Really? You give this dude a key, tap him on the shoulder like twice, and see you. <laughs> Yo, I was like so fucking like, wow. And then during like the third episode or second episode, they showcased him again riding on a fucking horse. I was like, what, what are you, like a, an, an apocalyptic swordsman or something? Like this dude's just riding in the fucking... And like, how come the Titans didn't eat this dude by now? Who? The father. He, he's the, beyond the, the wall by now. was mentioned after that. He what? He wasn't mentioned after that. Yeah, it's like, what the fuck happened? Did this dude decide to, like, just hide in a cave somewhere? There is so much you need. They need to keep watching, and me and Paul aren't going to spoil it for you. Because if we spoil it, it'll be less of a mindfuck. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll watch it right now after this is done, because you guys are really just making... Watch, just watch four and five. And I'm one. about to just skip four and go to five. No, no, you have oh, to watch... You got to watch, you got to watch four. Four. Make me watch it four! You have to! And also, in four, just pay attention to, like, the top ten cadets. That's yeah. all I'm gonna say. Oh God, there aren't there aren't any top ten cadets. They're all a bunch of merps. Hey Paul, um, link Alex watch cartoons on um, episode four. I this, shall. This, this dude, there aren't any good cadets. Fucking the one guy screaming at everybody. And then you got that that one bully who became like sprung after he saw that girl. Oh my God, it was like, what's going on? Sprung? That's yeah, like he got, like he, he he was fucking trying to be all badass and shit. Once she once she fucking walked by, he said, oh, "You have really beautiful hair." I ain't gonna lie, that would have probably been me, but okay. <laughs> Man, Paul just would have been like, the the Cogbrothers gaming has one FK FK. And I'm the bald <laughs> kid. He wa- he wiped his hand on after that, like. Don't worry. No, it's as a matter of fact, he would he probably would have glanced at her and just like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Why? <laughs> you just peed. Uh, num- number two. I'll be right back, damn it. Don't ask me. <laughs> number two. He comes back just wiping his hand. Why are you wiping your hand? Oh, um, you know, I touched the wrong seat. Shut up. <laughs> well, why are you look so Franks? sweaty? Oh, well, you know. It was a big dump. It, it, was, it was a load. Have, have you seen those pranks where, like, they take the Nutella inside the bathroom and rub it? Oh, up? my God. I've seen yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> react crazy. What if you did that in Brooklyn? Like, tell me the reaction. Oh, you would get Holy shot. Holy shit. People would be like, yo, man, what's this shit, nigga? What the fuck? Dude, we fighting. Let's go. Hey, Where probably, is it? Oh, my hey, God. They'll probably, bu- they'll probably shoot you through the fucking stall. I remember seeing one of them. A guy got out of his stall and went over to the guy who just Yeah, he was banging on the store. Bang he was like, you get out of here. Yo, man, these pranks are going too far. Somebody's gonna end up getting killed one day. <laughs> I mean, how would you react if someone did that to you? Even I, I saw, goes, a, oh, I saw a dude like the prank was he was gonna chase people with lawnmower, or, like with uh, flamethrowers, and he fucking whipped out a flamethrower and started burning shit. And it was like, what the fuck? These pranks are going way too far, man. Oh, you mean the one with like the psycho clown one? Those yeah, guys came out the bushes like a flamethrower. I was like, what, dude? It, it's like. What in the in like what would you think at like during that time? I I I fucking probably catch a heart attack. 
when Paul showed me a video with a scary clown dude that was murdering like this fake dead body in front of people, that's what is what that justifies my fear of clowns. Well, I mean, you you look at that. The first thing I would do before I'd start running was I would probably look at the body just to see if it's a dummy or not. No, no, because the moment people start looking at it, he takes a hammer and smashes the head part in. Yeah, but the the way the way the body is just set up, you just have to think dummy. I don't know, dude. If some if a, a creepy clown dude has um a, a big ass hammer, he just like caused like some type of bleeding on whether it's a fake or dead body. Are you gonna stick around to find out? Speaking of like videos I found on Facebook. So Alex, like every morning you wake up, do you like? Yeah, do you just go like <laughs> some spiritual Gandhi like? <laughs> I awoke this morning. It was a beautiful day. I want to sniff the, the, the morrow. Live I life to the fullest, myself. my friends. Stay, stay hungry, my friends. Stay hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the most interesting man, man in the world. <laughs> Each day is a gift. Stay it, it is. You're going to like the real. <laughs> Every morning, I just wake up. What did Alex write this morning? <laughs> what did he write? <laughs> Alex's words of wisdom. Is that what you seriously do? <laughs> so I was about to send Alex a picture of Badger going, Who are you people? Because I couldn't understand same, it. He writes like this very, very motivational paragraph that he did. Stay hungry, my friend. <laughs> stay hungry. You're going to like man, the way you look. You got to stay hungry. You can't keep full. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> like, you got to keep pushing, Stay thirsty, pushing, my man. friend. I don't know. Maybe it's middle age getting. To... <laughs> I remember I was like, was it like two years ago? Like I, th- I think we we're playing Slender or something, and then somebody yelled out, "I think Alex is having a, mi- a midlife crisis at the age of 20. We were all we're all having a midlife crisis at this age. Man, like, it sucks because I mean, of how shitty society is. You I, know, ever since I signed up for Facebook, I never thought society was this shitty. But yeah, yo, very this is new level. I, welcome to the club. Like, this is what you people said I've been missing out on? These, oh my god. <laughs> the hypocrisy and all the stupid, oh my god. Uh. Well, well, welcome to modern age, my friend. I didn't realize teenagers were this stupid. Now I feel ashamed that I am one. Well, like, I mean, you- you're going to enter the college world soon, and then you're going to get mind fucked even more. It's like, you will have people Why, why say, do I hear a truck? Like, where, where is this magic uh, truck? Yeah, it's kind of like my window. It's like, these people don't stop driving past here. Jesus, it's like the truck is, like, trying to back up into your house. It's like... Dude, it's at least a block away, and that shit is loud. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, you should have seen yesterday somebody... I don't know whose idea it was to do construction work on a Sunday. Oh, up my a God, that was hell. A jack right outside our house. They were doing construction right outside on the concrete. Guess who brought the jackhammer? <laughs> who brought the jackhammer? Some Fuck juggernaut. Big oh my god! I woke up at like seven in the morning to. <laughs> I, th- I thought it was just some dick outside, like just messing with like a leaf blower or something. So I look outside directly across the street. They're going <laughs> on the concrete, and it d- and it looked like they just started. <laughs> they just started. <laughs> they just started. He's like, don't look at me. <laughs> This is our time. This is our time. I don't know. I mean, so many interesting things have happened. So many great movies that you guys fucking apparently missed out on. Apparently, you're going to miss out on so many great games, too. How are you guys not excited about Uncharted and, and Battlefield 5? Because Uncharted, because Uncharted <laughs> fucking... What the that hell? Truck, that truck. It just went by. It probably sounds like I'm in the middle of the street right now. Dude, this <laughs> it's, uh, it's like, like, we're here live, guys, in the middle of the park. <laughs> <fucking crazy. laughs> like, I just lost my leg, but we're still going. <laughs> Car just... <laughs> but you, you, know what, you know what it sounds like? I, I feel like you're Trisha Takanawa from Family Guy. Oh, my, <laughs> oh my God. God. Here we are in the middle of the road. Hey, you can't double park here. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 did he fall off his chair? I think he did. I don't know, man. Paul makes some weird-ass sound effects. I mean, so, <laughs> like, I remember one time, uh, I, I swear to God, I, I thought I heard like a, I, I thought I, I thought I heard like a cat in the back. He was like, Meh. I was like, dude, like, are you making those sound effects or like, are you really choking out a cat right now? Uh, I don't know. Paul has really his cats. Um, All right, so 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 this summer, what are we doing? Six Flags, Atlantic City. What, what are we doing? Well, we're Can all I even go to Atlantic City? Don't you need to be 21? Well, you don't have to. I mean, 
think about the girls, my friend. Yeah, but those bitches want your money. Well, there you go, diggers. You, you can just. Don't no remember Shark Tale. Just, just hold, okay. just hold, just hold one hundred bill up and just hide it behind a whole bunch of singles and just make it seem like, but just practice the illusion. Oh, I see that all the time on Facebook too. <laughs> well, just do what they do. Got that right. Hey, Alex, are you trying to make yourself seem like a sophisticated intellectual person on Facebook? Ah. Oh. Oh, I just wanted to know because if that's what you're going for, you're doing well. But if you, I am going your to life, your house, and I am going to take your manhood. I'm going to revoke you of your childhood. I'm going to revoke you of your precious manhood. I'm going to make sure that by the end of this ordeal, you're not even a man. You're going. Well, to be- you heard it. You heard it here on this podcast, folks. Alex threatened my life and my. I man. am going. You will see him again on the news. <laughs> I am it. going yes. to take a lawnmower. As a matter of fact, no, scratch that. I'm going to wrap my cock around your fucking throat, and I'm going to start you up like a damn lawnmower. Wow. I am deeply disturbed. and I'm you Don't say deeply. To get uh, uh, <laughs> by the fucking python? I think I'm going to hang up now. It's just, you know, you're going to run away. I'm cry. like 10 minutes from your house. I hey, can easily start this lawnmower. You Didn't can't... you say you had a python? I did a long time. Yeah, so, so like, did you ever try to train it like a Pokemon? Like, you, you use roll out. <laughs> use roll out. Yo, that that's why you guys can't have animals, because you guys would think that they're real Pokemon or something. You'd, You'd call him Charbok. I bet he did it. <laughs> Charbok. Charbok. <laughs> 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 Yo, I'm not going to lie. That, that's actually very clever. I, I never thought of that. I really did. You never thought to call your python. But Chalk. you call your dog Entei. Yeah. Yeah, I call I call him Entei, but I never. I, I Damn, that's actually. I, I should have named him Charbuck. <laughs> Charbuck. Well, what's his name? Charbuck. <laughs> you have to yell it out whenever someone asks you. Charbuck. <laughs> I, I fucking. I took him to school, man. And I forgot to name him. Oh, that would have been so awesome. If I, get, if I ever get another snake. For, what are you going to name him? I'm going to name him Chabaka. <laughs> oh, God. Yo, I remember every time he used to attack it. Chabaka. Like, if, you, if, you, if you get a lazy one, you're just one that just lies around. Ekans. It's, it's not as bad as. Chai. What? Every fucking time. Chai. 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 It's like, oh my god, you fucking duck. The most annoying duck in the world, man. Sorry. He just popped out of nowhere. Sorry. I remember Misty used to catch heart attacks. Get the fuck back in the pocket. Sorry. Sorry. Fucking Charbuck. That's... So you never played the Gen 3 versions? I'm about to name my son Charbuck when I have him. <laughs> Charbuck. Wait, so what are you going to name your son, Mr. Charbuck? <laughs> His name is Alex Chabak. <laughs> so you never played Ruby and Sapphire? No, I never played Ruby and but, Sapphire. But you played Heart Gold and Soul Silver and Yellow and Red. Yep. yep. And what about Diamond and Pearl? Uh, Diamond. Diamond. Yeah. Okay. So you missed out on like the big damn. You missed out on the big one. That was like the. How was Ruby and Sapphire the big one? I don't know why, but that like was that's like when one... Pokemon changed. Like we we got it mad late because I remember. We never got that one. And one of my cousins gave it to me, and then I finally got to play it. It was pretty good. It was like it revel. It was the first Game Boy Advance one. Yeah. Well, I mean, I never- actually it was the only Game Boy Advance one besides Fire Red and Leaf Green. But, but I, Fire- I, I I never really paid mind to it. I was like, oh, Ruby Sapphire. Yeah. So all right. Guess- so Bye. explain to me what I missed out on. I I need to hear this. Did you not have Pokemon Coliseum or nothing like that for the GameCube? <clears throat> uh, I didn't have Coliseum. I just had Stadium. Oh, wow. And he uh, still got his ass kicked by me. You never, ever whooped me in Stadium, my friend. I believe in the party mini games we won. Oh, okay. So explain to me what Ruby and Sapphire it put, it epitomized that the fact that I missed out on. The yeah, ultimate I... fight between legendaries? Like what? Like... Groudon and Kyogre, they're fighting over who wants the most land on the world, like land or water. One will try to engulf the entire world in land, one will try to engulf the entire world in water, and the two of them get into a huge fight. And Rayquaza bitches both of them. He does? Yeah. How? 
and now and he just flies in and shuts them the fuck up. But back then it was on the Game Boy Advance, so they didn't really, sh- they didn't really have a really good cutscene type of thing. But in this one, they're gonna have the full Wait. out, like full out 3D effects because this is the new engine. So they're actually gonna show this dude like walking in and just tearing shit up. Yeah. Yes. I mean, so what else? You had pilgrims and Indians. Okay, so what yeah, but else? this is the only. This I think this is the only Pokemon game where I saw legendaries <laughs> start fighting each other. Yeah, this like, the other one. You just find one, and then he's just by himself. In this one, they they just go in for a huge battle. It's always yeah. So good. No, no, go on. I, I I'm I'm very interested to hear more. How do you not have a 3ds? <laughs> I I did, but then after Diamond, I was like. I'm he trades sure. everything in when he's done with them. <clears throat> no, I mean, like, I, I really didn't have a, a, a purpose for the, 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 for the uh, DS. I was just like, all right, <clears throat> I specifically got it for, you know, Diamond. And then after that, I was like, okay, beat it, done. Now what? Eh, let me just get rid of it because there's no point to it. So Dude, There was really no you, games back then on yeah, the DS anyway. If you get the 3DS now, or at least just like when you come over, we could all play Monster Hunter. Yeah, how about you just go jump off your window? I will, but only after we play Monster Hunter. Yeah, but I mean, don't, don't you guys already? Didn't you guys beat it like a thousand times and like just devoured no, it? We've never beaten it. It's just what? Beating monsters. It's just so hard. What about what about uh the new the new Monster Hunters coming out? What was it Monster Hunters Four? That's next year. Next year. Are you excited about it? Yeah, aerial yeah. combat. That's gonna be great. Jumping on the back of monsters and then just beating the shit out of them. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, but like, <clears throat> like, are, are they gonna have like the same like mechanics, or is it gonna be something different? No, different mechanics. In this game, you can't fight in midair. In that game, you can. I mean, so. And this interactive combat, basically, like you can climb up a wall while the monster's still trying to um kill you. The cliffs will start <clears throat> falling down. You could jump on the monster's back and start hitting him while your teammates are still hitting him on the ground. In this game, it's mainly surround the monster and everybody just keeps poking it. I remember I fucking showed you guys. The trailer, you guys were like, what? It's only in Japanese, no. The minute I see an English version, I will have repainted my walls. Do you think the Xbox is coming back in E3? Like, like, uh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes and no. Because, why the no? (laughs) The no part is because the PlayStation now. The yes part is because they're finally going to, like, showcase, like, their exclusive trailers and stuff that they're going to have going on. Because they've been working on everything else thus far same thing with playstation they, they i mean right now all the major games are kept on hold because they're still being worked on that's why this this e3 is so exciting because they're gonna be like all right well guys guess what finally we have some news and this is what we've been, we've, what we've been doing so like in terms of games both companies have been mad quiet <clears throat> well yeah they have been mad quiet because i mean what is there to release they're still working i mean that that's like you starting a game right now from like scratch you're gonna show off stick figures here guys this is a uh, god of war 4 stick figure it's like dude what <laughs> what what is this this is god of war <laughs> the, the very the roots of the game the beginning it's like no i mean thus far a lot of a lot of talk about god of war a lot of talk I really wish the. You see how the games are going towards co op? I hope God of War is co op. A lot of fucking talk about Gears of War and all that stuff. So it's like a lot of things are coming, but it, it's just being. I, I don't know why it's kept under wraps, but maybe it's a good thing because they don't want to reveal too much. I want a sequel to God of War 3. It's been nearly four years. It's been four years. Yeah, they will. I mean, why wouldn't they? Wait. Oh, hey, wait. Gears of War, isn't it like most of the characters already dead? Yeah, but they're working on a trilogy, and and uh, Microsoft Studios bought it out from Epic Games, so <clears throat> they're gonna do a new trilogy, and they might include something alternative, like perhaps new beasts or new monsters, or or maybe even like uh, another race. We we don't know yet, but th- that that goes to what I just said. Both companies are keeping it under wrap because they don't want to reveal anything just yet. I mean, why would they? It's just like a movie. If you reveal too much, then it sucks. Not really. I mean, Godzilla oh, no, was doing no, a lot. Different. Godzilla was good. Yeah. Godzilla was revealed a lot, actually, and it was still pretty good. Although, like I said, you can't really go into this film expecting Pacific Rim fights, but it was still fucking amazing. Just the story alone just made it seem like it was just like, wow. So it's really that well thought out, like, <clears throat> the story is amazing like and and just the way everything plays off it's it's like godzilla isn't just like you would think oh this that and the third but 
you'll understand why they can't use nukes. You'll understand why he's even there to begin with. You'll understand why, like... And, like, and you'll also understand why humans are so arrogant and stupid sometimes when they discover something and, and why they keep it a secret. Like, they really did a, they did a great job with the story. They, they really did. And then when the fight scene happens, oh, my God. So right, you, said, you, you said you were scared from the roar, too? Like, it was that scary? No, it wasn't, no it wasn't scary, no. Well, you said it was that good? Like, oh, yeah. yeah? It was, it was, it was, like, because he looks like a fucking bear. <laughs> Like he puffs his chest out. And he fight, like he he looks. Oh, you have to see it. I'm telling you, we let's go. This guy does not want to go. Did he just cock the gun? <laughs> he probably is, man. I don't understand why he doesn't want to go. I can't believe Kim Kim Kardashian got married. What? <laughs> He's sad that Kim Kardashian got married. Why? She got married. She got married. She got married like twice already, nigga. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck. And besides, she, she's been dicked down to so many times. And then you like see, you give a fuck. <laughs> they've done the, they've done the mean. I hit it first with like fifty people like lined up. Like Perfect. any of you care. There, there, there's a lot of people who already have, you know, the heart of her cards. Who cares? Do you, who cares? Do you really want to, like, go in there with, like, the used, torn up... Uh, with all the money she has, she could fix that. I bet she did, but, yeah. It's like buying a fucking used game that's been scratched up. I don't care. She's, she's still, like, perfect. Perfect. Uh-huh. Yeah, but guess what? Kanye West is eating that booty hole. <sighs> and, and you know what he's eating it with? His money. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look, look, look on the bright side. All right, Megan Fox is still available. No, she's not. She has a kid. Ha! Ah! Damn it! I mean, no. Nah. But she's not as hot as she was back in, like, 2009. She's oh, pale wow. now and <gasps> sickly. That was... Take that back, you sick fuck. <laughs> oh, you offended someone. At least Kim Kardashian looks healthy. Oh. Kim Kardashian... How is Kim Kardashian healthy? She looks like she's got more jello shots in her ass than her head. <laughs> you, can't talk... you can't talk shit about her ass. You just don't. <laughs> We why all have, know. Why do I have the feeling there. Sean's gonna go inside your room and just whoop you for saying that? Like what? Megan Fox isn't as hot as she used to be. Uh oh. He locked the door. <laughs> he went and locked his door. <laughs> <laughs> he locked his door. <laughs> yeah, that's what you heard. He slid black back on his chair and went and locked the door. He locked his door. He locked his door. Oh, what a fucking shallow person. Now he's now he's bombarding it. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> if you come in here, I swear to God, I I'll 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 have to. <laughs> you want some more? Yeah, I got it. I got it. Sean, do it. Yes, yes. Hang on. <laughs> He's gonna lockpick the door. Uh oh. I can't actually lockpick his door. Go ahead. I mean, we're all waiting to see what's gonna happen next. <laughs> I knew it. Al Qaeda. <laughs> here, here, here. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I would figure you'd say that after you barge in his room and beat him up. Yeah, but I can't barge. His lock is actually the only lock in this house besides Alex Nairn's that can't be picked. So just bust the door down. I can't. I'm not that physically strong. So, I don't I know, like, repel from a rope from the roof and get through his window. How am I supposed to get to the roof? Talk about being physically strong. Like, 
if I hit the gym for like the next month, I don't think I'm wearing a shirt for the rest of the summer. Mm. Mm. He's kissing his muscles again. And he has the door lock, so you know where that other hand's going to be going later. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not sure if he even do- goes down there. I'm pretty sure he's just rubbing his arm now. Mm. Oh, look. Oh, he ate. Hey, <laughs> Nigga, have y'all seen me? I have gotten shredded for this. Have you heard this self-conceited fuck? What happened to the Paul who used I to be earned, so small? I earned this. You earned yourself to be self-absorbed. I'm not self-absorbed if if people... You're kissing your muscles. What? You're kissing your muscles. I still don't feel that strong, but apparently I get compliments everywhere I go. Mm. Mm. Call them a self-absorbing asshole. Yeah. Everybody tells me you look like you're a steroid, bruh. Bruh. They come up to you and say bruh. bruh. I'm right there next to you. I never hear a bruh. Well, you never heard the bruh, but you know everybody keeps asking people about roids. Probably is on roids. I'm not on roids. If I was on roids, I'd look like a god. And then you'd sag down back to a, like a 40-year-old man. Because if you... Yo, have you seen, like, the difference between roids and natural? In six yeah. months, you can turn yourself into, like, hyperbolic time chamber type of training. Your results. trunks is second form, basically. No, trunks yes. is, like, ultra form. Ultra yeah. form, basically. You can start yeah. You can start from, basically, great Sam. Wait, wait, right? actually, wait, no. Who, who's bigger, Broly or Trunks? I think Broly, right? Broly's Broly. bigger, but, but, but Trunks just looks more, more controlled but badass. I don't know. But Broly looked natural with his. Bro- Trunks definitely did not look natural. Trunks did not look natural at all. Trunks, <laughs> Trunks is like, he's like, oh, what the fuck, dude? Somebody help me wipe. <laughs> <laughs> Even Cell was scared. He's like, damn, that's a lot of fucking muscles. No, even Cell was like, let me show you how it's done when you take roids. <laughs> <laughs> and Trunks is like, oh my god, he figured out my secret. He clogged his arteries. What a way to end this podcast with this kid locking the door naked while Sean is trying to I'm beat not the naked. Out of him. Hey, get out here. <laughs> He's knocking on the door. <laughs> Open the door, be a man. <laughs> They're on to me. I'm going to have to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, why do I envision him out of his window with like a fucking semi just blasting? And people outside are like, what's he doing? Just go inside, honey. <laughs> it's just the one lone kid in the room who's just playing sound effects. <laughs> well, what a way to end this. Thank you for watching, everybody. This has been the Car Brothers Gaming and the Fatal Brotherhood. They, they're, they, 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 they fucking locked themselves in the hyperbolic time chamber. UAV recon standing by. Oh, God, run! Oh god, if you, get down. I hope you all subscribe. Be recon standing by. Con one, Defcon one, Defcon one. Defcon Don't do it. Con two, Defcon two, Defcon. Die Hard Headquarter. What? Die Hard One Flag. Die. Prayer to Miss Online. Enemy has Charlie. Oh shit, enemy has Charlie. Peace, everybody. We're losing the fight. Take everyone else down.